audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week. Now Capricorn, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But Capricorn, when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it at all whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you though, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most because I love keeping up with you guys. I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards and hearing how they pertain to you in your personal life, right? And then finally, also, I would like to ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading because it does help out my channel a lot, Capricorn, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And I'm not here to make a decision in your life, Capricorn, right? It's your life to live, not mine. So just take this reading as a way of perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your week. But do not treat my reading as the be-all, end-all, because it's not. <laughs> so let's get into your um, overall energies this week now, Capricorn. Uh, we have four cards for you for your overall energy, actually, which is different than every other zodiac sign. Uh, we have the waxing moon coming in, which is the energy is gaining momentum, right? So this is a good buildup. Definitely things are building up for you this week, Capricorn. Definitely if you guys have been doing any type of manifestation rituals, perhaps, or you've been trying to create something, you've been putting a lot of energy into a project or a person even perhaps, right? I, th I get this feeling of where you're going to start getting like the fruits of your labor, right? New moon and eclipse, expect a powerful change. I mean, you can't get better than that, right? Uh, energy is gaining momentum and expect a powerful change. It's almost like this is letting you know that the energy coming to you is going to be big, life transformational even, dare I say, even though it's super dramatic. Um, but I can be dramatic because you have the chariot card coming in as well. This is letting me know of where it's spiritually charged of this transition, this change happening, right? The chariot only comes in when you're on your right path and when there is forward movement. So three cards right now, really much so amplifying very fast forward movement. Energy is gaining momentum. The chariot's forward, fast forward movement. All of this uh, energy that's gaining momentum as well is leading you to a powerful change. And then Eight of Wands comes in as well, of where it's like the claiming of power. It's that energy of grabbing up at opportunities, right? And also letting go of things that are no longer serving you, letting go of that dead weight, but especially grabbing up at opportunities when you see them. So it's almost just like once you see an opportunity, Eight of Wands, you rely on your own ability, and then you charge forward as like the chariot. And once you do commit to that, that's when the energy gains momentum, that's when the powerful change happens. So I'm very interested in seeing the actual tarot side of everything here. Uh, Capricorn, just because of this, like, I'm really excited. Like, <laughs> this is already this is turning out to be a really exciting, good reading for you, and I can already tell. So let's start getting into your career for my Capricorns that are interested into in their career, their wealth, their finances, right? See what's up with that. Okay, let's see what card came out. Ace of Cups. Honey, the good cards keep flowing in. The blessings keep coming in for you, Capricorn. What's up? Your cup runneth over, honey. Um, the Ace of Cups is the... I mean, literally, your cup runneth over. So just very much so that card of abundance when it's in regards to your career. Um, definitely kind of makes sense of the foreshadowing i'm sorry <laughs> was that rude or gross for me to crack my knuckles on camera i don't feel like editing it out either <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't i apologize if it bothered you though capricorn <laughs> but um it makes sense for that ace of cups to come forward because it's like if all this good energy is gaining momentum you can take like i guess you can kind of take um for my anxious capricorns that like saw this like impeding change coming for you and you're just like wait a minute i don't want change um you can take comfort in the fact you're not going towards like a tower moment you're going towards abundance you're going towards your cup running over in terms of your finances let's pull some clarifiers though see what's up with that 
see what other insight that we can get for my Capricorns in career. So let's just like covering that as well, though. This definitely is like an energy of where it's like if you've been wanting like a raise, perhaps Capricorn, this seems to be a very good week for that, especially with the six of uh, pentacles that came out. Now we're going to actually unpack this card a little bit here just because of what I just said, actually, because um, I don't think I ever got to complete my thought, but it's like Capricorn, if you've been wanting like a raise in your workplace, this would be a very good week for it. And then when I pulled out, I said that, and this card came out and notice now, granted, I'm not saying that you're asking for a handout Capricorn, but it's like the imagery of it, of where it's just like these hands coming to this person asking for you know finances right now i guess like you can kind of take that in a demeaning way but i'm kind of seeing it in a symbolic way of how things would just like pay you will get your payout right and it's all under that ace of cups umbrella so it's like naturally it seems to be the case back of the deck energy as well the star card <laughs> capricorn my god this is probably like one of the best readings I've done in a long time. And especially when it's all in career too. The star card is that wish fulfillment card. The star card is just like weights being lifted off of your shoulders. We have the seven of pen or swords with the four of pentacles. So with all these blessings, right? There it does come a little bit of um, overwhelmedness coming in here. The seven of pentacles of where it's like perhaps you are... Um, I can't, I don't know why Capricorn, but it almost feels like I'm getting like this sense of feeling overwhelmed, especially with this four of pentacles. I feel like this sense of being overwhelmed, not quite sure um, what to do, not quite sure where to invest. Um, let's pull a couple more clarifiers for this actually, to get a little bit more insight. Nine of wands with the 10 of wands comes out. So with, with this, you know, with this opportunity, right? And I guess it makes sense, right? You can't just be promised like a bunch of good without having to put some work into it, right? So we have some good cards here at career, but then we have the nine of wands and 10 of wands where it's just like, it seems like the baggage that comes in here is being unsure if you're able to handle this journey. And that makes sense, Capricorn, because when I was saying before, like referencing my little anxious little Capricorns of being afraid of like it, having like a tower moment when you see all this, these change cards, you're just like, wait a minute now. I don't know. I don't know if I want change. Right. This is where I feel like that's where your issue is. It's maybe because of like your fear of change, um, because maybe you associate change being all bad. That might stop you from having like your Ace of Cups moment, that Six of Pentacles, that Star card moment is like this being afraid of change, not wanting to um, go out of the box, break up the routine that you're currently on, right? Something that I'm just getting. Um, so definitely let me know how we can fix that for you, Capricorn. What is that blockage for you? How can, like, where did this block come from in your life, right? Why do you feel like you, um, what caused you to not want change? Are you just happy in this place that you're at, right? I don't know. Let's pull a moon card, though, to close off this energy. Overall, really good. You Really good energy overall for that realm, for your career, though. Uh, it's called your Virgo, Capricorn. Blue moon, believe in the impossible. My gosh. Yeah, so let's just go back with that narrative again of that raise. If you didn't think it was possible to get that raise, like, truly, like, this is such a good week in terms of, like, finances, in terms of career, taking risks, definitely, like, a very good energy for the Fool. If you resonate with the Fool card, this would be a very good week to honor that Fool energy is all I'm going to say on that. I'm not going to tell you to take a risk. I'm not going to tell you how to manage your life, right? Because it's up to you to take that risk. It's easy for me to say, but I just see a lot of, a lot of positivity this week in terms of your career, Capricorn. Should you break out of that nine of wands, 10 of wands? Let's look at your social interactions now though, Capricorn, see what's up with that. See what's going on with Capricorn's social life. Let's see. King of Swords. Mm -hmm. So there is like this sense of... Um... <sighs> mm -hmm. Someone's being an adult in some type of situation. 
<sighs> Doesn't that sound ominous, right? I feel like it's you being the adult in the situation, but why, what has you in that King of Swords, I guess? Let's see, let's pull some clarifiers. I can just not shuffle tonight, Capricorn. I do not know what it is, man. Justice card comes out, the death card, page of wands, back of the deck energy is the tower card. So there definitely it does seem to be <laughs> career-wise thriving, honey. Absolutely thriving. Can't get much better than that, honey. <laughs> when it comes to your social though. I mean, I still see it as a good thing, but that's just because I'm an optimist to the point where it's almost annoying, right? I see this where it's just like you're having to be a mature energy when it comes to dealing with somebody. The Justice card comes in of where it feels like, in, you know, the Balance card keeps coming in in different ways throughout your reading. That Six of Pentacles, you saw the scales. The Justice card, it's literally the scales. It's the Libra card, uh, Capricorn. Uh, there's something that you feel like is out of balance in terms of some social connection that you feel like you kind of have to take a stand for. It doesn't seem like you're saying anything. It seems more so like you're observing and taking... Um, taking note of the behaviors or what people are saying or not doing or doing, right? You're observing and it's through this though that you're kind of realizing what you need to let go of with this death card. This is like making a transition and moving on from some type of energy, right? Tower card as well for the back of the deck. It does seem like, I mean, you can't really have, like, it's like, it's, I'm laughing Capricorn just because it's like, you're identifying that something's out of balance, right? And your response to realizing something's out of balance is just being like, taking a whole match to it and being like, gone. Like, it's like a blink of, a blink of an eye that never, that situation never existed in your life. So I just find it kind of comical in that way. And it's just like, once you wipe your plate completely clean, which it seems to be with this person, Page of Wands comes forward into like a new beginning. So it just seems to be like you kind of needed a fresh new start and like a change of pace from people. Seems like you had to let go of somebody because you just didn't like their behaviors. And now it's because of that though, that you make space for higher vibrational people. Maybe even people that just are in more of an alignment for what it is that you want to do in life. South node, closing this energy off is the South node rather. Don't let your past hold you back, Capricorn. So definitely, I feel like this is more so emphasizing on someone that you've had history with, Capricorn, that you've kept in your life for a while and you've always just kind of made it work. But it does seem to be nothing, uh, you know, be be aware that I haven't used the word toxic, Capricorn, because that is such an overused word. Toxic's overused and narcissist is so overused. Um, you know, there is just a time where energies don't complement each other, right? And I feel like you kind of just are going into your own path now and there's just naturally when you go into your own path and the further you progress in your own journey in your life capricorn um you're going to just na naturally distance from people you're going to grow apart from some people and that seems to be what happened here you're kind of identifying something just not being cohesive in your life anymore and you just need to not allow having that history with that person hold you back from continuing going forward right with that and uh chariot energy all this energy that i want to remind you of for your overall like nothing this is all new all new energy right we're not looking at anything old at all we're not bringing any type of baggage with us ma'am on this journey and then the last row is the messages from spirit <laughs> honey the career absolutely thriving not a bad card and so well, it's not none of these cards are bad but we got the death card <laughs> coming in <laughs> Now, this is definitely just for like you seeming to need to make some seemingly needing to make some type of transition moving on from people, um, which I kind of feel like you already know what it is that you need to move on from. It's almost like you needing to just make some final uh, uh, space to welcome in like this new energy. You're doing some final touches, some final spring cleaning before you go at it. And right, we have this two of wands here where it is like talking about it's just like after you wipe that uh, plate clean, then you figure out like your next game plan, how you're going to approach the world and like your life afterwards when you start anew. The clarifiers that I pulled for you were the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, 
and the Eight of Swords. So you're breaking free of what's trapping you. And even in some way, I kind of feel like it's a lot of it's just like not even necessarily to do with your environment, but more so like who was in your environment. The things that kept you feeling trapped in some type of way and blinding you from not seeing the possibility in your life, right? Blinding you from being able to believe in the impossible, right? And that's why you would have like the Nine of Wands coming in for your career because you kind of need to go on that solo dolo energy to kind of realize that it's like... I, it's almost like because like you weren't going to realize like how other people's energies are, are affecting you and almost kind of like weighing you down, Capricorn, until you're without them. Um, where did I put your other cards, honey? Capricorn, your cards just disappeared. Hello? Am I crazy? I think I'm... Oh, okay. I found them. <laughs> so with this night... <laughs> Oh my gosh. With this nine of pentacles and this ten of cups, you're just going into happiness. You're this is like all in the name of spring cleaning to have so you can like welcome in things that fill up your cup and welcome in things that complement your um what's the word for it? It's not self-preservation. What's the word for it? Things that complement um your not self-sufficiency. <laughs> Whatever. Things that <laughs> Capricorn, basically only allowing things that complement your life rather than slowing you down. Things that add to this momentum rather than take away from it or slow that momentum down, right? Eight of Wands uh, being with your overall energy, you're coming from a really empowered place, Capricorn. And it's just like you're realizing your power. And it's like once you realize your power... You, you kind of realize that you're being too big of a fish and it's too small of a pond or that you became the biggest fish in your current pond. So you're in this place of looking for different ponds to go into so you're no longer that bigger fish, right? So you have more place to grow, more competition. Interesting reading. Really motivated reading. Motivational reading for you, Capricorn. Definitely let me know how this reading resonates with you. Uh, closing out this energy, we have Waxing Crescent Moon. Have faith in your dreams. So much full energy, so much energy asking for you to just go forward, Capricorn. So really take that leap of faith, man. This is such a good week for you to just let things go because you have a lot of good things coming to you, Capricorn, I feel. A lot of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of good things uh, coming to you. So hopefully this reading resonated with you in some type of way, Capricorn. If it did, be sure to give me a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well. Until next time though, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.